Moving to the first grammar error of our set, we're going to look at number three, subject verb agreement. This is an error that used to be super popular on the old test, but while it does appear on the new, it's not at all very common, but you still, of course, need to know how to handle it. So let's check out number three. The hours the average American spend working have increased dramatically since the 1970s, making it hard for many workers to get a good night's sleep. So you might have heard in the reading of that that there's something weird about three. But what? Well, notice the subject of this verb, because spend is a verb. The subject is the average American. Now, the average American is singular. It's one person, right? The average American, one individual, right? The average person. So our verb has got to match. It has to agree with its subject. Again, subject verb agreement in the sense that it also has to be singular. So think about the way English verbs work in the third person where we have, let's say, he and they. He is singular, just as an example, and they is plural. But you could use any noun that's singular and any noun that's plural. I'm just using these pronouns to make it easy. So would it be he spend or he spends? Of course, it's he spends in the present tense. Right? And so the singular verb has got to have that S at the end of it, whereas they would be just spend. This is the plural form. We don't need the S. If you speak English, you know this. You just may not consciously know it, if that makes sense. You may not be able to articulate it, but you do know this. So trust your instincts, but also back it up with some knowledge of these rules. So here, it shouldn't just be spend. It should be spends. It should be singular. So C looks really good. We can get rid of A because that's plural. Now, B and D change the tense a little bit. They go to have spent or are spent, but we don't really care about the tense with B and D, or at least with B as a tense, D is a different kind of change, but we don't really care about the change in the form of the verb because both of them are still plural. So we actually don't even have to worry about whether it should be have spent or spend or anything like that because they're both plural. Uh, maybe on a future question we would, but honestly, it's unlikely. Most of the time, it's going to be a simple either singular or plural issue as it is here, or as we'll talk about in a later video on tense, it's just going to be a difference between past and present. They're not going to go too crazy with these different tense forms. Uh, so in this case, it's got to be spends because it's got to be singular to agree with the singular subject. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.